an all-new episode of the Jeremy White Podcast, Tuesday at noon, available wherever you stream. Catch up on past interviews and episodes on demand now. Subscribe so you don't miss any of it. Yo, what's happening? Good. All good? Yeah, we made it. Let's get we made it. it. Here we are, man. Woo! Finally, getting to it. <laughs> hey, a uh, brand new record came out on May twentieth. Over one hundred fifty million total global streams. Yo, this guy's like the one you need to be watching this dude. Okay, like, like the, first of all, I want to talk all about the music video. I want to talk about this song. But anyways, welcome to the show, Mr. Ty Burris. There he is. Look at him. Wow, man, it's a beautiful day outside, bro. Let's get it. <laughs> Dude, over here, okay, so first of all, global warming, what's going on? Over here in, Mon I, I'm in Montreal, Canada, and it literally feels like 42 degrees Celsius, which is like, I don't know, like over 100 degrees at this point, I think. You know what? As long as you're A-OK, -okay, I think you're going to have a good day. <laughs> he said it. He just said it. Ah, oh, he just said it. <laughs> I love it. That was like, you know, it'd be even better if I had some lemonade. I mean, yeah, you know. right. Maybe you need some lemonade, some Minute Maid, two, four, six, hey, do a shimmy shake. <laughs> Maybe I'll go eat some hay, lay by the bay, make things out of clay. What do you this say? I just may. Uh, Jer Jeremy White, that is the next single. Let's get it. <laughs> Did you ever see Happy Gilmore? The movie Happy Gilmore? That's from Happy Gilmore. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, okay. So, first of all, this music video is out of control. Thank whose you. idea was this madness honestly we were kind of lost on the concept and then uh my manager's wife was like what if you're like an airplane pilot and i was like that let's figure out that so then i was we were like okay if we can get the airplane thing done what's the concept and then like, like the whole concept is that everything is going badly on the flight but i'm just cool as a cucumber man you know <laughs> and i think that uh that's kind of a nice little metaphor for life of like, even though things might seem like the worst possible outcome being on a plane in the middle of the air and you just don't know what's going to happen. But in reality, I've been in that situation. Other people have been in that situation, but you always, you, you, you the sun is going to come up the next day. Um, and you know, you're not always promised the next day, but if the sun comes up the next day, you always have another chance, you know? So yeah. That's I always it. felt like, I kind of felt like you were pulling your best Denzel Washington impression in the movie flight. <laughs> yeah mine's, mine's a little bit more on the comedy side than the drama though you know <laughs> yeah then again that scene of that plane upside down just like clipping the church it's pretty so cool. good classic so you know? good. i was cracking up i was just seeing a, a story online about airlines refusing to serve alcohol now because there's just too many stories of people like getting out of control and being thrown off flights oh yeah that's that, that makes sense that makes sense yeah i mean it's it's yeah, people just get out of control, man, on, on planes. Like, dude, there was one time I was flying from LAX to JFK. It was like, a, it was the red eye. And like, this woman just like got totally lit, but she was like at the back of the plane. Like, she wasn't even at the front. So, you know, she was paying for every drink, first <laughs> off. <laughs> and second of all, it's like, how do you even do that? Like, you know, three drinks in that lower, like that pressurized cabin, you're kind of like out of it. Listen, people will find a way. Yep. Yeah. Talk about this album. So debut record comes out. I mean, first of all, I want to know, like, how did you get your start in music? Like, is, is this like freaking you out? Like the fact that you're blowing up as, as big as you are or? No, I mean, the the whole goal in the beginning was to be the biggest thing in the world. Um, the, the thing that I wanted to, <laughs> the thing that I wanted to uh, do was make, I just didn't know which industry it was going to be in. So in the beginning, I was uh, doing piano lessons for 13 years. I did guitar for four years. I did ukulele. You're a classically trained musician then. You, yeah, you... I was more jazz, but yeah, definitely that. And then I also did, um, uh, oh yeah, ukulele for four years. And then once I came to LA and dropped out of school, I did everything I did. Like I modeled for Nike. I did like, I was doing like comedy spots for like five to seven minutes. Um, uh, and then, so I would like do things in the industry high enough to get paid. I was doing a mm. podcast where I was getting some money off too, but I just had nothing, nothing really broke through all the way to the mainstream until I, you know, the end um, coronavirus happened. And then I focused on music. And then once I did music, mm. um, it was like me singing in my car for an hour and a half after I got denied from the voice every single year for like four years in a row. So that's Damn. what I would do. Yeah. When, after I dropped out of school, I would, uh, my kind of like anniversary thing I would do is I'd go to um, 
America's Got Talent or The Voice and I try out. I wouldn't even get to the the big spot. I'd go to like the first producer tryout. So um, they wouldn't even call you to like audition in front of the judges. No, no, that's like six rounds deep. I was I wouldn't even wow. get past the first round. That's crazy. I no, it's not crazy. I was not good. I was not <laughs> <laughs> Where are those audition tapes now? You gotta throw those up on YouTube. Nah, man, they're probably in the garbage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're not even close to anything that needed to that that was good enough to be in there. And then after I got the fourth, you know, no one even like looked at me. I was like, okay, let's practice for six months in my car in my garage every single day for um, mm-hmm. six months. And then uh, after that hour and a half of practice every day, I went to the studio and I made three songs and one of them was stuck in the middle and I put stuck in the middle out and it blew up. Mm. Man, it's amazing how that happens. I mean, especially with like, you know, like today in a world that's just, it's everything's just so oversaturated, whether it's the podcasting or it's, you know, like the, the modeling or or the, even the music. It's like, you know, mm-hmm. to try and get your name out there and turn into something, it, it's, it's freaking hard. So the fact that you're doing it, it's dude yeah i mean yeah but at a, at a certain point it, it's hard but i think that you know listen talent speaks at the end of the day and it shines through right so you either have it or you don't Nah, i don't even know if it's even talent i think it's just not giving up because there's people way more talented than me there's people way more you know i'm not the best thing in the world i'm not the, i don't have the best you know team in the world but I, but it for the music industry it's 50 percent music 50 percent promotion um 50 percent marketing so it's like i don't think there's a lot of people in the world better than me at marketing so yeah i mean you know talk about the social media game is that really like home base for you um i think it's home base for everyone in 2021 you know like if you want to get bigger as an artist how do you get bigger you know you have to reach new people and with tiktok's algorithm you can reach new people and you don't even have to do anything. That's the thing. It's like a good, I, I, it's a good idea machine. You're getting video sent to you from consensus of your, of your peers around you, of your own demographic. Plus you're getting videos from people that aren't in your demographic that multiple people have liked. And then with regards to music, if you want to reach people that you would never reach with your music, the algorithm sends it out to them. That's amazing. Who can do that now? Nobody can do that. It's great. I love it. Yeah, it's free advertising in in reality, you know. Yeah, but, but so that's why I just I think that social media is the next the next thing, and I think listening to Gary Vee and my brother talk about TikTok, I was just like, oh, this is it. this is a no brainer. Let's try it. You know? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. And it's just so cool because you know I was listening to the record and stuff, and like even the song. It's you know we just added it here in Montreal, so you know you're getting spun at the beat ninety two five and. You know, it's going yeah. to be a brand new entry on the Montreal Hit 40, a number one weekend chart show. So, I mean, you know, what more do you want? <laughs> Woo! We love to see it. Okay, <laughs> Jeremy bringing the heat. That's it, man. Well, listen, brand new record called TV is available now for music. So, so are you just doing like the digital thing or can I go to like, the, you know, like the music store and uh, pick up, you know, the double gatefold vinyl of the album or something or you're getting we're trying to get stuff in the um, in on vinyl on my personal uh, merch store uh, nice. before I don't go out on tour. Um, but yeah, man, I can't wait to get one of my own vinyls. I've never had a vinyl before, like own one. So well, listen, man, you know, you talk about the tour and stuff. It's if I come to your show, you, you, you can't sign my Spotify. I, I can sign your, uh, eyebrow. How about there that? You go. Yeah, <laughs> sign Just pull up the shirt, sign the titty classic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, talk about tour really quickly. What can we expect on the road? You know, what's the live show going to be like? Um, basically me on the floor having body convulsions and (laughs) I'm just going to be just, just spazzing out on, on my, on my stage with my band. And it's going to be great. I I really can't wait to get out there and do the music live because these songs are meant to be sung. You know what I'm saying? I want everyone to be screaming, crying. Maybe they pee a little bit. Who knows? Nice. Yes. (laughs) Bodily fluids on the floor. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> all right man well listen we love you here in montreal we hope to get a show over here i know the show at the drake hotel uh, in toronto is totally sold out so we need to get a montreal gig at some point we're going we're going back i'm going back out right when we come we're, we have this quinn 92 chelsea color tour where i'm opening up and then we're doing uh, we're also doing Lollapalooza, but then we're doing my tour and then 2022 there's definitely going to be another one so let's get it Doing. We'll get you. We'll get you at Oceaga 2022 in Montreal. That'd be great. Hundred thousand people in the field, main stage it, baby.
you got you got good vision. I like that vision. <laughs> all right, man. It was great to meet you. It was great to meet you too, man. An all new episode of the Jeremy White Podcast, Tuesday at noon. Available wherever you stream. Catch up on past interviews and episodes on demand now. Subscribe so you don't miss any of it.